Yo guys, what is going on? I'm just here to bring you guys back some more Pokemon VGC 2015. If you guys can give the video a thumbs up for me, that mean a lot to me as well as letting me know down in the comment section down below who you think is the most interesting Mon to use in VGC. I've seen some weird stuff like in the last match we saw a Clefairy, we saw a Sea King. Maybe if he actually put some effort into it, he probably could have used that team. You know, extremely competitively, I don't know, but just like a something, you know, just someone who could probably be used, you know, really competitively. Like, Seijin Park was out there with the patch Risu. Who do you think is an interesting mod to use in the VGC? I'm gonna have to go with, um, just honestly, mods who can hit both sides, like Lava Plume users, Hyper Voice users, Earthquake users, such like that. And as we talked about last time, I said if I won that match, we forfeited. Yes, you still win that match. Your opponent forfeits. As look at the mind games here, all Mega Mons and then an Aegislash. So I don't know how I feel about this. Let's find out. I'm gonna lead off with Sylveon. No, I don't want to lead off with Sylveon. Actually, I'm gonna lead off a Garchomp and Rotom Wash. Should I? I don't think I should. No. Let's lead off with Tyranitar Rotom Wash. And then we're gonna bring Garchomp and then we're gonna bring Salamence. We're basically gonna go mad, mad, mad offensive here. Because I came to this realization we don't need the Sylveon. He's got Immense and he's got an Aegislash. As well as a camera out. Camera is really bulky and it's taken here from Sylveon. So I am just gonna do that with that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I am gonna do that. Because I'm expecting him to lead off with Aegis Ash and. What is it? Salamence? So I'm leading off with Tyranitar and Rotom Wash. Uh, that way I can crunch and follow up with the Will O Wisp. So you're just gonna lead off with Aegis Ash and camera up over that. Okay. Okay. So maybe he expected like my men's Sylveon lead. I don't really know, cause this looks like it would stop a men's Sylveon lead. But it looks like it's good on my favor either way, cause he let off with the Aegis Sash, so it's pretty good in my way. Uh, I do want to Will-O-Wisp this Aegis Sash, but at the same time, I want to Hydro Pump. I don't know. I don't know if weakness policy Aegis Sash is the thing in VGC. I don't know that, but we're just gonna crunch regardless and find out on our own, Kyle. If you run a weakness policy Aegis Slash or not. That's kind of cool. At first, it's gonna be like, wait, he's an Aegis Slash. I think it's banned. But then it's uh, VGC. It's not banned in VGC. Since he has Solid Rock, I thought that he would have lived, maybe. But this is why Camera Upt. You tried, Camera Upt. You tried. He's probably gonna easy Sacred Sword my Tyranitar, though. Uh, yep. Yep, and there's no way in hell can I take that. I take it! Wow! Okay, so I guess Craig must have put some defense EVs in this. I don't know the spread, but I know Craig like made this team for me. So shout out to you, Craig. You're the real MVP. We just took out his two mons right away. That's very, very, very good. I know from doing at least the slow shit that I've done, when you usually take out your first two mons within the first turn of your opponent, that's looking very good. It's a lot of pressure on them, you know, stress, you start to not think the proper way. I would talk about psychology, I'm gonna get out of here, all right. But I am gonna Will-O-Wisp this Mence and then protect on my T-Tar, because I know he's gonna drain punch my T-Tar. So let's Will-O-Wisp the Mence and then protect on our T-Tar. Just so that you know this Galade doesn't get anything back because I want to play some mind games And the thing is is which one is mega which one isn't mega? That's the thing, you know That's the thing which one is mega and which one isn't mega and I don't really know which one is the mega I'm gonna go based off men's yeah, cuz like I've never seen anybody run a mega Galade in VGC I've never seen that I have never seen that at all period But all right, my teacher is gonna protect there it is well there it is as uh, the Mance is actually going to Draco my Rotom Wash. So, I don't know, Rotom Wash, can you take that full HP? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. He can't do it. No one can. Rotom, Rotom. Go, go. If he drain punches my Rotom, too, that could be really bad, but I need to land the Willow. Awesome. Even though he's probably, like, fully specially offensive from the looks of it, I, that's, that's fine to, with me. That's fine. Because now, what I'm trying to do here is trying to bait him to go after my Rotom with the Gallade. Because now that I've burned his Mence, it doesn't even matter, it's like half special attack, it's like, 
he's kind of weak now. But yeah, now that I've like crippled his ments in a way with the burn, you know, it's being withered down by Sandstorm and by the burn. I'm baiting him to now go for the close combat on my Rotom, expecting me to now Will-O-Wisp that. This way I can get a free crunch off on the Gallade. So he's gonna Draco, and who's he gonna Draco? He's gonna Draco my Rotom, okay. Yeah, I can live that. It's against like some uh, unnecessary crit. Okay, cool, he doesn't, awesome. We're, okay, so yep, there it is. There's the Will-O-Wisp. I don't know what he did there. I'll have to find out shortly what he did. Is he gonna close combat? And it still is a T-Tar, so that's fine. T-Tar did his work, so that's fine if he honestly closed combat, so that's cool. That is cool, that's cool stuff. Well, there you go, T-Tar, there you go. That's fine. It is fine. I've burned both opposing mons on the side of his field, so that's fine. I'm looking very good and very happy right now. The very first match that we're doing in this next one that I win. Looking very good right now, looking very good. Now, I think I brought Garchomp, so I know Garchomp can definitely do work to his team. Or no, I'll just, yeah, I'll bring my own ments. <laughs> I'll bring my own ments. What am I talking about? His Galate is burned, so if he reveals the Ice Punch, I'm not worried. I also got the Intimidate off on that. Just in case if he has a return and he's mixed, there you go. I can now T-bolt this Mence and I can Mega Evolve and Double Edge this Gallade and take care of them just like that. Pew, pew, pew. This is his last Mon lead up. He didn't bring the Glalie or the Pidgeot. I would have brought Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot looks like it'd be a lot of fun to actually run in BGC. I want to build a Mega Pidgeot team. Because it looked like it'd be a lot of fun to run a Mega PGA. Too bad that crit didn't matter. Alright, there you go. And then this Mens is probably going to spam Draco. So what she does... It shouldn't do anything unless he gets like a crit. Because you, you'd be surprised. I've seen minus three Draco. Uh, after he uses like three Dracos and gets a crit. But uh... That just did a crap ton of damage. Even after all those drops. It did a crap ton of damage after those drops. They did not matter at all. <laughs> Okay, so now we can finish him off with the combination of T-Bolt and Double Edge, which is good. It's good stuff for me, good stuff for me, very good stuff for me. We're going to T-Bolt you and we're going to basically Double Edge you, it doesn't even matter because that's pretty much it. I have another mod in the back if he somehow goes for like explosion <laughs> or some low key stuff like that, but that's going to be it. GG Kyle, GG Kyle, GG here. There you go. That's gonna be the match. All right, that's the thrill victory in my favor. That's what I think is cool because you bring like six mon, you have six mons, and you bring like four. You know, it's cool. Go check the results. All right, we're gonna continue battling. We're gonna pick up another match, and after this, I'm gonna eat the hell out because I'm starved. Okay. Alright, so we're now at 15 14. Okay. And we're just gonna wait to pick up a match. Here we are with Mario. Please love me. Hey, I used to live in Minnesota for like 15 years. Oh, he's got a good team though. Three steels, a Greninja, a dragon, and then a, a dick tree. <laughs> I'm gonna lead off with the Mens though for Intimidate. Mens Rotom looks like a really good lead right now. Uh, Sylveon is a no-no. I'll bring the Garchomp and I kind of want to bring Titar. Kind of want to bring the Titar. Let's bring the Titar too, because I want to bring Ferrothorn. Since you can't touch Ferrothorn, yeah, I'm gonna bring Ferrothorn actually. I'm gonna regret. I'm gonna <laughs> regret. Wow. I'm gonna regret not bringing the T-Tar, I probably am, cause T-Tar, uh, it's just, you know, it's just good to be there, you know, it's just good to be there. It's just good to be there, just real good to be there. Actually, now that I look at everything destroys T-Tar, the Haxorus, the Greninja, the Scizor, Tropius, if in certain situations. He leads out though with Haxorus and Skarmory. Okay, interesting lead. I set it up with my Mensa and Rotom, so I actually do have it in my favor right now. Now I don't know... Oh, snap. Yeah, his ability went first. His Haxorus is definitely Scarfed. Okay, what I'm gonna do is Mega Evolve and Protect. 
and then Willow this Haxorus. While this Haxorus is around, I actually can't even use my Citrus Berry. So all those like uses abilities I talked bad about, yeah, they work in VGC like Unnerve and Healer and such like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and Protect because he's Scarfed and well his, his ability went first, I'm assuming. That's why he's Scarfed, I'm assuming. I haven't confirmed it, I'm just assuming it. I'm assuming it pretty, uh, pretty well. If I can land the Willow that I do, awesome. And his Haxorus has now been crippled, but if my Rotom outsped it, then the Haxorus is just not... He's not Scarfed, actually. He's got Steel Wing, though, but he goes for the Rotom. Maybe he expected me to switch out into Sylveon since, you know, Outrage, and there's a chance of it hitting, you know, this. But it looks like to be that his Haxorus is not Scarfed, Unnerved just went first. Maybe Unnerved is like, it's like one of those priority abilities. Legitimately, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know why. I, his ability went before mine. I don't understand that. I don't, but okay. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. I think I'm gonna T-bolt his Skarmory. He's not gonna really kill it. He's got Sturdy, okay. And uh, he's gonna Sky Drop. Um. <laughs> okay, a Sky Drop Skarmory. <laughs> Uh, we got a sky drop, Skarmory. Please don't tell me that that is viable. Please don't tell me that that is. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that the thing is viable. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm gonna protect. And the Rotom, well, you can T-bolt the Skarmory. I don't even think you can attack after sky drop. I don't think that you can. He's gonna Ice Beam though, just from how the way he's playing and how he sent it in. Maybe he's a Scarfed Greninja, you know, I'm gonna use Scarfed Greninja. Free from the Sky Drop. Okay, yeah, I figure that you can't attack after that kind of stuff. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna swap out here and go out into... No one that comes in on Ice Moves. Let's just go out to our Ferrothorn and then let's just T-Bolt this Greninja. How about that? That looks good. Because Greninja's hella fast. And I don't want to take an Ice Beam, I don't. I really don't. I promise you I don't. But there's the Ice Beam. I know the Ferrothorn is tanky enough to eat it up, which it does. There's the Thunderbolt, and since he's not a water type, I don't think it'll... Psych? Never mind, he's frail. I overestimated you, Greninja. He's frail. Steel Wing. Oh, you're dead. Iron Bars, Rocky Helmet, that's it. <laughs> he did it to himself. And now he has one monolith. That was a good play on my part. I'm happy about that. I can't believe it. Am I going to win two sets? Am I going to win two sets? Usually I never win two sets. I think I might win two sets. He's going to bring up the Scizor. Okay, his last mon is the Scizor. So, what I'm going to do here is actually just Leech Seed Scizor. And then follow up with a Thunderbolt. Scizor really can't do anything. He might be Mega. That might be just a little bit scary, but he is Mega. Okay. Caesar Mega is really cool. Mega Caesar is really fucking cool. He is really cool. I don't see much of it lately. Unless you're like really higher tier OU, but yeah, is the X Scissor. That's just a lot of damage, but I'm Iron Barbs and then there's Rocky Helmet. Oh, I'm not Rocky Helmet. Okay, I thought it was. There's the T Bolt. He's bulky enough to eat it up though. And I'm thankful enough to land this Leech Seed. All right. Things are looking good. Things are looking very, very good. I feel like I'm definitely understanding this game a lot more now. I can't say that after fighting a Steel Wing Sky Drop Skarmor because I legitimately don't think that's viable. And then a Dual Chop. Uh, dual Chop Haxers. I could see that work, actually. Dual Chop Haxers. But no, somebody said in the comment section below <clears throat> in the last episode that... <clears throat> wow, my voice is being lame. In the last episode that Greninja is not really a threat in VGC. I don't really know if he is or not... <clears throat> With the speed stat that Greninja has, I could definitely see it being a threat. But I don't know if he's a threat or not. I do not know if he's a threat or not. I mean, Greninja's always a threat. Greninja is always a threat, you know? Just could see him being a threat. But my opponent does have Roost, so we actually may be here for a while. And this is going to be just a little bit annoying. Just a bit. I don't even want to deal with this. I'm going to go straight into my mints. Because, no. Yeah, because big N. Oh. Big N. Oh, Scudda. Bang, bang. Yeah, my mental resistance is Bullet Punch and his X Scissor. 
Andy has roost. Yeah. Okay. That's just a little annoying. Don't do this. Why you do this? You're gonna lose, dude. Why would he do this? I say that because I have a fire blasting. Oh. Rotom's done with your shit. <laughs> Rotom does not give fucks or keep roosting. That's gonna be it though. Thank you for the game, Mario, even though he'll probably never see this. I'm proud of myself. I did good. I did really good. Even though I don't think this guy was probably a good player. I did good. I did good. So I'm happy that I won two sets. I did good. I'm definitely gonna play more. I really enjoyed the VGC meta. I'm really disappointed that I haven't started it sooner. But that's gonna be it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know you felt about it down in the comments down below, as well as letting me as well as letting me know in the comment section who you think. Probably a really fun and interesting mod to run in VGC just for the shits and giggles. You know, I probably could see like lower tier stuff, some NU stuff, Gramble, be cool, intimidate fairy typing, really cool. I like I'm gonna say Gramble. That be said though, guys. I'll catch you all later. Check out the anime channel. The winter arc just started. We're uploading a bunch of heavy content to there. With that being said, bye, Noom Nibas.